Good morning, Sunday Clubbers. How are you this morning? I hope that you managed to get out in the sunshine yesterday because it was rather glorious for a spell. Now, first of all, there are some thank yous I need to say, and that is thank you to everyone that helped to put together the Makaton Lord's Prayer for the Mothering Sunday service last week. Thank you so much for doing that. That is fantastic. And hopefully we can use it again at some point. Now, a reminder. In a few weeks' time, in the second week of the Easter holidays, we are going to be having Let's Go Holiday Club. It's going to be so much fun. You're going to see me and Emily, but you're also going to see some other people that maybe you don't know. So you can head over to the Let's Go Facebook page where we're going to be having info, and it's going to be on the mornings of the 12th, 13th and 14th of April, and hopefully also doing some stuff in the afternoons at church as well. That'll be for the whole family. We'd love you all to get involved with that. Okay, well today we are having a think about someone who lost something. Someone who lost something. And I wonder, have you ever lost anything? Now I have uh, I've lost a fair few things in my time. Um, one of the things that I'm saddest that I lost was when I went on a trip to Devon with some people I worked with and I left my favourite hat in a pub. And I didn't realise until we got back to where we were staying and by then it was too late to go back and get it. So I don't know what happened to that hat, it could still be in that pub, who knows. But have you guys ever lost something? And have you ever found something that you lost? Because today in our story, not only does somebody lose something, but they also find it again. So we're going to go across to Claire, and she is going to read our story for us. A shepherd had lots of sheep. He always counted them as they went into the sheepfold. But one night, a sheep was missing. The shepherd counted again. 98, 99. Oh dear, the shepherd knew he should have 100 sheep. What was he going to do? The shepherd made sure the other sheep were safe. Then he went to search for the lost one. He looked behind walls, he looked near the stream, but he could not find the sheep. He searched in bushes, and he scrambled over rocks, but he still could not find it. The shepherd climbed higher up the hillside. He walked along stony paths until he heard a quiet, meh. The shepherd was so happy. At last he had found his lost sheep. He lifted it onto his shoulders and carried it safely home. The shepherd thought, all of his sheep were special. God thinks we are all special too. So, did you work out that it was going to be the story of the shepherd finding the lost sheep? Well, there are a few stories about things getting lost that Jesus told. That's just one of them. But the thing that I love about that story is that in it, the shepherd is like God. And God doesn't just sit at the sheep pen waiting there, looking at his watch, saying, I wonder when that sheep's going to come back. He actually goes and looks for that sheep. And it says that God loves us in the same way that that shepherd loves that sheep and all his sheep. And God will come looking for us, for all of us, whenever we get lost. And if we call for help, then he will find us and he will rescue us. And this is the same for anyone whether they know God or don't know God and God loves it even more when people that don't know him call out for help and ask him to come and help them and to be their father so we're going to have a short prayer now thanking God for that very thing so shall we pray together God we thank you that just like a shepherd cares for all his sheep 
no matter how big or small, whether they wander away a lot or stay close to him. We thank you that you come looking for us when we're lost. We pray for all those who we know that don't know you as their shepherd, as their father, that you would be able to come into their lives, that they would call out for you, that they would know that they are lost and need you to rescue them. And that that would be a wonderful moment of joy and happiness as they find you and you find them. Amen. Well, to help us remember our story this morning, we are going to go across to Jenny, who has got an awesome craft for us. So, over to you, Jenny. Hello, children. Good to see you this morning. What a change in the morning instead of the afternoon. Right, now to business. Well, God thinks we are all special, just like that shepherd thought his sheep was special. He left the 99 to go and search for the one. And our craft today is going to show all that the shepherd did to go and search for that one lost sheep. And now you're going to need paper, pens, scissors and glue and we have to start by showing you that we're going to make a list of flap picture with all that paper and drawing so now I'm going to show you how to make the flaps first of all you start by folding one piece of paper in half and cut it and you end up with another piece of paper like that and you fold it in half lengthwise and cut it and then again two pieces and you fold one into three like that and you can cut those pieces and cut that one in as well if you want to make five flaps. Today I'm just going to make one flap to show you what to do. But we need one flap and one sheep, so I need two pieces of card. So first of all we need to draw our mountain <coughs> that the shepherd nearby that goes up like this. And we need our sheep right down here, number 99 and all the others. They're quite difficult to draw sheep. You draw a face and curly hair, eyes, ears, curly body and four legs. And he's number 99 and this is what caused the trouble wasn't it? Number 100 was missing. So first of all if you can remember in the story the shepherd looked behind a wall. I expect it was around the wall of the pen where the sheep live. Now you can do it a bit neater than this and colour in the different parts of the wall, the different rocks that are used to make the wall. But the sheep wasn't in there. But there was a nice lot of grass round here. And through the grass there was a stream running. And I think the sheep might have worn up there to have a drink. So the shepherd would have walked up here and have a look to see if the sheep had gone to have a drink. Well he might have done, but that wasn't enough. The shepherd had to move on and he went to someone somewhere where there were lots and lots of bushes.
and the sheep would have liked the bushes because on a hot day there would have been some shade. Searched in the bushes, no sheep. Let's go up the mountain a bit further. Oh, now we've got the rugged bit. Lots of rocks. Not very nice for anybody. Difficult to climb. And I don't think there would have been any grass for the sheep. No sheep in there. So on we go. Oh, and we've got to a very stony path. It's near the top of the mountain. Well, I wonder if our sheep's up here. Well, I think he might be hiding up here. So we take one of our flaps, fold the top down, put some glue on just this flappy bit, Bend it back a little bit as well. And then this is where our sheep is going to be. But the shepherd can't see him yet. But when he gets there, he searches and searches and searches. And hopefully in a minute he will find a sheep. But we have to draw another sheep. So, I'll see if I can draw it so you can get it this time. If I draw upside down, there's the sheep. Face, curly hair, and ears, and a curly body. All that lovely wool. And legs, one, two, three, four. And our sheep's got to hide in here, so we'll make it a little bit smaller. We'll cut a bit smaller. And pop our sheep in here. Oops, a little bit off the side as well. And up comes the shepherd. And he finds his sheep. He's not cross, he's so pleased to find him. He picks him up, puts him in his shoulder and walks past the rocks, down the mountain, past the bushes, past the stream, but maybe the little sheep was thirsty so he let him have a drink. Then back we go and he puts him back in the pen. Well, that's it. Depending upon how many flats you make will depend on how long this takes you. But this will help you to remember how much the shepherd loved the little lamb and also how much God loves you, whatever you've been up to. Bye. I hope you guys have fun making that craft and thanks very much Jenny, it's always fun to have something lift the flappy to help people remember the story. I'm sure my boys would absolutely love doing that, lift the flap books are fantastic. Well I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, please do remember to stick around for the morning service, it's going to be on here on the YouTube channel in not that long, but I also hope that you have a great week whether you're at school or at home or somewhere in between, that you enjoy it, that you hear God speaking to you, and that if you get into trouble, that you will call out for help, just as that sheep bard and the shepherd found him. See you soon.